what is the equivalent capacitance of the three capacitors shown in figure one below? All right, so the key with capacitors is you can combine them like you combine resistors, except it's kind of inverted. Um, a capacitance in parallel equals capacitance one plus capacitance two, and the equivalent capacitance for in, I'm gonna call this series, is one over C1 plus one over C2. So it's kind of like the opposite idea of for resistors. Um, kind of the way that I remember this, almost mnemonic, is the capacitance for a parallel plate capacitor is K over epsilon nine, not A over D. And if you have two capacitors in parallel, like this, I'm going to draw them so that so the plates are really close. Because a, a parallel plate capacitor is literally just two conductive plates close, like two conductive plates. That's a parallel plate capacitor. And so let's say the plates are really close to each other, very small distance right there. And so if you look at the capacitance, it's just the area. Well, if we just increase the area like by something really, really small, like just a little teeny bit right there, we've basically created one super capacitor here. So if I draw it like this, where the little red dot is just gonna be where I weld the two together, we basically just have one capacitor. So it makes sense that to find the area of this super capacitor we just created, this combined equivalent capacitor, we just add the areas to, area one plus area two. So A1 plus A2, and this is how we combine capacitors in, that are in parallel. It's literally C1 plus C2. So that's the concept here. And then when we do them in series, that's just we add the reciprocals and take the reciprocal. So what we're gonna do here is we're first gonna combine the capacitors in series. So we're gonna do, uh, we're gonna keep everything in microfarad, so I'm gonna ignore the units to the end. So one over 20 plus one over 30 equals one over, I'm gonna call this C, S, or S-E-R for series, is the equivalent capacitance. And so we're gonna do a common denominator. So we'll multiply the, this one by three. So three over 60 plus two over 60 equals five over 60. Take the inverse of five over 60, we get 60 over five, which is going to be 12, because 12 times five is 60. And so the equivalent capacitance is going to be 12, and the units are microfarads. So one good thing to check is when you add reciprocals and take the reciprocal, you should get a number that is less than either of the originals. So 12 is less than 20, which is less than 30. So we're not necessarily right, but we're not obviously wrong, which is a good start. So then I'm gonna redraw the picture like so, we now have 12 and was it 13? Now that they're now they are in uh, parallel, and the way we add parallel capacitances is by simply just adding each of them. So 12 plus 13 is 25. Capacitance equivalent is 25 and the units we've chosen to use here are microfarads. So equivalent 25 microfarads. So not too bad. Uh, good concepts. Hope that helped. See you next time.